Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today we'll be talking about purchasing a laptop under $400. Recently, my uh, laptop, the Vista, Window Vista, broke down and uh, I decided I'm going to purchase a laptop. So I had a, a group of criteria or specs that I would want my laptop to be, but of course within the $400 range. So I went out to purchase it and look uh, into the computer store to find the, uh, what I need. So here's are some of the things that you might be uh, looking for when you purchase a laptop. The first thing is the uh, monitor, right? That comes uh, built into the laptop. Is it LED or LCD? I think it really doesn't matter as long as the size is actually more uh, important. Um, you want to aim for 15.6 uh, inch um, monitor, LED or LCD. Um, that's probably what you want to get. I mean, you may want to go down to 14 inch and sometimes 17.3. Again, remember, we're trying to aim for a $400 laptop here. The next thing is the um, hard drive. A minimum would be 500 gig hard drive. The one I've got, the Lenovo uh, Model B575, is actually um, 750 gig hard drive. That's quite good. And then, of course, for the RAM, minimum is 4 gig. RAM, but to be honest with you, you want to aim for six gig RAM. I mean, there are very few laptop un laptop under four hundred dollars that has six gig RAM. But I actually, I, I was able to manage to get one. So I'm I'm sure you will probably look if you look hard enough, you probably can find one. Next thing is, uh, of course, you have to make sure it has Wi-Fi, and we assume that most, if not all, the laptop nowadays has Wi-Fi. Make sure it's going to be a, at least a G. And N, okay, and N of course is better, but it really doesn't matter because if you don't, your router is not N, you it, it will not, you know, go as fast. Uh, um, if you don't, your router is not an N, all right. So if your router is G, then go for a laptop that's G. If you're, you know, you're thinking of uh, upgrading in the future, then of course if your laptop an, has an N, Wi-Fi N, then that'd be great too, okay. Uh, next thing is the DVD. I mean. Most laptop has a built-in DVD. You would need that, okay? The one I have has a DL, a dual layer. So in other words, it can copy and read uh, and write uh, both sides of the DVDs. So make sure you have that. Uh, another thing is the interface. For example, all laptops should have minimum of three USB interface. Um, 2.0 is the minimum. Three is now the new standard, but um, I believe that most laptops still at 2.0. Uh, of course, obviously you have to have a VGA output. Okay, this is very important, especially if you're going to university college and and or if you're doing business presentation, you have to have that in order to uh, present uh, your presentation with PowerPoint on the projector. Now, what's even better, of course, is now you have to find out about the projector that you're going to be presenting in uh, whether it has HDMI okay interface this is this stands for um, high definition multimedia interface my laptop fortunately has it uh, you know I was really looking and so um, this laptop the Lenovo actually has that uh, HDMI and it's awesome because when you hook up to an HD uh, projector it looks amazing so, and then I think most of the university and college now, they're upgrading their uh, hardware and they, I know that they have now HDMI interface built in so you can just hook directly to your uh, laptop. Next thing is you want to find out whether the laptop has a discrete graphic cards, okay? The, most of the laptop that is AMD chip, uh, dual core and up, uh, has a discrete, a discrete uh, graphic card, Radeon graphic card, 6000 model and up. Now that's great because most of the um, video editing software uh, when they're doing special effects uh, they require that these graphic card be a uh, individual discrete graphic card or Radeon. The Intel for some reason, I don't know what why, it most of the Intel uh, laptop uh, has integrated graphic card. This is okay if you're doing for example you know uh, photo editing uh, uh, relating static images but if you're starting to go into video editing 
um, you would definitely need a discrete graphic card because the effects does not some of the effects does not work properly so you might want to ask that uh, when you're purchasing a computer whether it's a discrete uh, graphic card or not the next question somebody always ask me is that should I get an AMD chip or Intel well you know you gotta look at the type of chip it is right the, you know what type of application you're doing um, for, for sure you need a minimal of dual core um, chip and uh, if you're comparing i3 Intel versus you know the AMD dual E330 uh, 350 you can't you know that the i3 would probably be better by you know performance by 30 percent however like I said before the Intel has integrated graphic card whereas AMD uh, dual core usually comes with a discrete graphic card in that case uh, you know depending on your application like for me I would go for the AMD dual core with discrete graphic card uh, built in of course the RAM is important too you know you have a 6 gig RAM versus 4 gig RAM you go for 6 gig RAM right so it's not as uh, easy decision you have to look at you know uh, different respect the next thing is uh, some people ask me, you know, should I get an iPad or a PC uh, laptop? Now, this is uh, uh, very obvious that if you're a student or a teacher who's going to be um, working in school, uh, doing presentation and uh, doing a lot of typing essay, etc., etc., uh, I would have small business. You would want to go for a PC laptop. I mean, that's obvious because there's so much application and, and work is more done efficiently with a laptop than an iPad you know iPad and Android tablets are meant for entertainment they you, you can watch HD videos you can um, uh, read books ebooks right and you can navigate with uh, touch screen all that that's great right if you have extra income money to uh, provide that, that kind of technology but if you're talking about your first laptop and uh, you want to do uh, real work you want to go for a, a PC laptop. Now you can go with a Mac too, but remember Mac is uh, is a two or three times more expensive than a PC. Um, I'm thinking like you probably need to pay at least a thousand dollar plus. Whereas, like I said, we are aiming for four hundred dollar laptop. Next thing is uh, people ask me when would be the best time to buy a uh, laptop. Is most likely people will say oh Christmas and uh, Boxing Day, but to be honest with you, no, it's not the best time. The best time is actually in October and November, and that's when I got my laptop for under uh, $400. So it's actually only $330 before tax and $375 after tax. Um, the reason being is that they're you know, trying to get rid of the old model, but it's not that old, to be honest. These uh, these laptops are still uh, within you know the spec that I wanted. So you got to be smart when you purchase it. If you purchase during Christmas and uh, Boxing Day, obviously, you know everybody assume that and the price has actually gone up you can check that actually look at the ads and compare uh, in October November December January and see what I mean um, I've been observing it and I realized that actually uh, a couple months before the you know the Christmas the computer is actually cheaper the one uh, you know maybe the older model right uh, I mean if you're aiming for $400 that is laptop uh, that's about it and if you know if you uh, purchase a laptop uh, just uh, post it up and see uh, let me see what your spec is hopefully you know we're trying to aim for four hundred dollar laptop and if you can get a laptop under four hundred dollar I wanna see uh, whether you know you have the same or better spec than I uh, good luck with uh, purchasing your laptop and I hope you enjoy your new computer oh by the way I forgot about the uh, um, the operating system as well try to get a window uh, 7 premium okay please do not get the uh, windows starter 7 uh, that's you know you're going to end up upgrading anyway and do not get vista for sure uh, they're a bit slow i mean between uh, win, uh, windows 7 and vista then uh, windows 7 win uh, the the rank right and then xp between XP and Vista, go for XP. Of course, XP is outdated seven years ago, but you know, for uh, software compatibility, you know, like if you have previous uh, software in the past, you will probably want to get an XP, right? But Windows 7 uh, Professional actually um, 
is backward compatible compatible with uh, Windows XP. So anyway, good luck, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.